Hey everyone, it's Mark with Trash Raiders again. And today, we're gonna be analyzing this big bag of trash. <laughs> I'll just give you the story behind this. Uh, we picked up trash yesterday over at Sawmill Park in the Woodlands. Uh, we didn't find a whole lot of heavy stuff, but we did find a lot of plastic bottles, styrofoam cups, cans, uh, you name it, all the other plastic stuff in between. So right now we're gonna go ahead and weigh it, and then we're gonna take it all apart on that green mat, display it all over the mat, and just analyze everything and see what's going on. And you know who else is gonna help me with this? Ruby! Ruby, come here. You gonna help with the trash? Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna help with the trash. Come here. Yeah, she loves helping with the trash. <laughs> All right, so let's not hesitate any longer. Let's weigh the trash. All right, everyone, before we weigh it, let's go ahead and take a look at what's in here. Uh, a lot of styrofoam, plastic bottles. That was a donut. Um, cardboard container or whatever but you know you got the usual honestly there's just a lot more plastic bottles than anything and i will say this i did pick out some plastic bottles and cans out of the trash can uh mainly because whenever i do see that i don't like those bottles that go to the landfill who does so better just go ahead and recycle it uh then let it go to a landfill but with that uh, the weight that we actually gathered trash that was outside of the trash cans isn't going to be the honest weight So I'm going to deduct the real weight that we get from here by two or three pounds just to kind of get a better accurate weight So without further delay, let's see what we uh, we have here All right, I think this is gonna be I don't know maybe 12 pounds Ooh Almost. 11... Uh, 70, whatever. All right, but minus two pounds on that. So we got, you know, about nine pounds. So about nine pounds of the stuff that we found yesterday. But without further hesitation, let's go ahead and see what it's made out of. All right, Sawmill Park. Are you ready to see what you're made out of? Here you go. Ta-da! <laughs> now let's analyze it. Come in, come to the trash. <laughs> she smells the food and the food wrappers. What a, let's see what she thinks about the socks. Ruby. Socks. Oh, I forgot to mention there was a packet of butter that I found. She was really interested in that. Ruby, the socks. Ruby. 
Ruby. He doesn't care about the sock. <laughs> no, I don't like that. There was still some coffee or a milkshake that was in some kind of container. She smells it. She'll sniff out some of the trash when we go together. Where is it, Ruby? You don't like that trash? <laughs> oh. Give me more, Daddy. Give me more booty rub. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know. I know. You want to help with the trash? You can help. Here. Let Daddy finish this up. You want to help? You want to help? You want to do? No. You don't like that? Oh man, that was a lot of trash to sort through. Very meticulous because we got a lot of little bags and a lot of wrappers. But I just got through with that. Let's take a look at it. You see we got, you know, just regular drink cans, uh, some lids to some, I don't know, like it looks like a cat food or some kind of lid to some kind of can. And then we got the alcohol cans or the can cans that contain alcohol. So we got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, non-alcoholic i mean so look at that there you know a good portion of the cans were alcohol related moving on to the bottles you know here um three <laughs> three of the bottles this was like a little little liquor ball um but yeah three bottled alcohol containers and two non so again what does that tell you about the people throwing out the trash moving on to the cardboard uh you know we got cigarette packs and stuff like that uh, like some other kind of cardboard container. This, uh, I think it's like those containers that you have bread or pastries or something in. Uh, could, have, could have even been like a little cake or something like that. Uh, and as you saw early in the video, uh, the previous video, we got this big heavy master lock. You know, this thing's, this thing's hefty. It's got some weight to it. Uh, but that'll be good for um, getting money on recycling uh, the aluminum cans and any other type of various metals. Move on to paper. 
uh, we got the infamous, uh, you know, Uno card. So that was kind of cool to see. Uh, moving on to some other items. Uh, part of a tennis racket. That was kind of interesting to see. It wasn't even near the tennis court. That was the ironic part. <laughs> but, I mean, they must have gotten mad or something. Probably lost the game. They're like, nah, I don't like this. But uh, one of the odder, more odd things that we found were these socks. Like, you got one sock right here, another sock right there, and another sock right there. All pretty close to the basketball court. Other types of fabrics, I don't know what that is, but that looks like a really big hair tie. That is a hair tie. That's a dryer sheet. Uh, I don't know why that was out there. Maybe somebody was just doing their laundry out there. Who knows? Uh, little one, um, threads of fabric. And we got our you know, typical styrofoam cup containers here. And I got some to-go containers, parts of to-go containers. You got your lids. Got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six lids. And one, two, three, four, five, five straws. So take a look at the plastic there. And uh, bring your attention to this. <laughs> there wasn't a sign anywhere in sight that would have taken any of these letters. Like there just wasn't a sign. So I'm, I'm really trying to figure out like where did these come from? So I wanted to spell Ave or Eva. <laughs> Or they. Regardless, it was odd seeing these there. I was not expecting this at all, <laughs> like any of the other trash. Um, and since we were really close to a playground, uh, we had like a little red squishy ball. Uh, obviously, a tennis ball is going to be within reach of a tennis court. You know, we were next to a playground too, so you saw like parts of toys there. Uh, this looked like to be a part of a um, Easter egg for Easter, like just a plastic kind. Uh, and we also have like the various food containers, uh, drink cups, stuff like that. You know, stuff that you put yogurt in or stuff that comes from fast food. A ribbon, uh, a half gallon of milk. That was right there next to the basketball court. I, if you have a, have an idea of how it got there or why it was even there, I mean, is milk really good to drink right after you, you play basketball? I don't know. Somebody just tell me because I'm, I'm kind of confused on that one. <laughs> And uh, really close to the pavilion, lots of like sauce packets. Uh, it could be ketchup, honey mustard, you name it. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six of those and a bunch of just random um, bottle cap lids. Uh, one cool thing that I will be able to use in the house, a Nerf dart. And that's great because we go through Nerf darts like crazy at this household. We're always having Nerf wars and Nerf battles constantly in the household, either by choice or at random. <laughs> but I'm gonna reuse this. And uh, Ruby's not over here right now. She's busy digging a hole, as you can see. So she can't help me with the cigarette butts. We've got one, two, three, four, five of those. And uh, oh man, just the sheer amount of bottles we found. Now remind you, uh, a good portion of these bottles I pulled from a trash can, I'll admit that. Uh, so I would say, I don't know, probably 12 of them, 12 out of this many I pulled from the trash can. I didn't want those going to a landfill, so that's why I did it. Uh, but the true numbers may be off slightly. But it's still, I mean, just look at it, the sheer amount of bottles that are going into a landfill, you can see. Uh, so this many bottles are no longer going into a landfill. But we got everything here, you name it. Oh, and look who came to help. I'm sorry I'm touching with these nasty gloves, but... Anyway, you're a dog. It doesn't matter. You don't care. You're filthy. <laughs> but Ruby came over here to help with the trash. Ruby, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got over there? He's like, I don't know, but it stinks. <laughs> but uh, besides the plastic bottles that we got, uh, that's that's less plastic bottles that are going into the landfill. And last but not least, all of these like plastic wrappers. I mean, we for food. I mean, you got your protein bars and your candy, hell, some popcorn, chips, you name it. I mean, there's just so much of that there. I didn't pull any of this out of a trash can. Uh, and we were really close to a playground, so you guess it. There's going to be a lot of like, little candy wrappers there. And that's what we found. We just found a, a bunch of them. I mean, I've, I'm pretty sure there's 100 plus uh, individual pieces and items here. But... Uh, there you have it. Take a step back. I know Ruby's in the way, but whatever. She's a great uh, co-host here. 
uh, but the majority of what we found uh, as far as item wise was going to be your plastic bottles and your plastic wrappers didn't find a whole lot of cans or bottles i uh, found some odd items <laughs> like those socks over there that was crazy and then those letters uh that was odd too and then i don't know why but we found a half gallon of milk by a basketball court but that's gonna do it for me everybody i uh, appreciate you stopping by and watching the show or just watching the channel and the videos and if you haven't seen any of the other videos check them out uh you know the more people that know about these uh, amounts of trash that are here the better uh, and the more people that can actually go out there and do pretty much what I'm doing, it's going to help out the world in any way, shape, or form we can. Keep all this plastic out of the waterways. Do as your part and do as much as you can to recycle. Uh, but hit that like button. Subscribe. It helps the channel out. And see you on the next one.